What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make DIY countertops. This is the stuff you'll need. Uh, some gloves, epoxy, spreaders, some paint stirrers, a mixing cup, various cans of paint of your choice, and also a blowtorch or a heat gun. All right, I've already went ahead and pre-prepped these panels. The board on the right is plywood. The board on the left is MDF. You can use any kind of board that you would like. You could be as creative as you'd like. To start out, you would cut your board down to size, or even if you wanted to resurface your old countertops in your own home, and sand it down, round down the edges, paint it whatever base color you want. Uh, after it's dry, I sanded it down with 220 just to make it smooth. And then there we have it. We're ready for the epoxy. All right, before you start, just make sure that you always read the package to make sure that you mix it correctly according to the directions. Usually it comes with two, two containers, your epoxy and your hardener. And for this particular application, it requires you to mix it by hand for 12 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to mix these two up. Pour them in here. All right, about halfway through, you want to take whatever your base color is, or any other color for that matter, if you'd like to, but I usually stick with whatever my base color is. For this project, I'm going with gray base, so I'm taking some of my gray spray paint here, and I'm going to spray it into my epoxy after about six minutes of stirring. Take some soapy water. I use Dawn. 
because uh, it's a grease breaker. And wipe down your panels with a clean microfiber. is mixed up it'll actually start to feel warm or uh, hot to the touch actually so you know that it's ready to go and then your panels are of course prepped the next thing is to pour the epoxy onto your panel
you've got your design basically where you want it, what you want to go ahead and do is get your heat gun or your torch. You want to torch very lightly so you don't burn it. Torch and heat up the surface so that you work all the air bubbles out. actually move some of the paint as well to give it a more natural flow. Like I said, you gotta be careful so you don't burn it, so just a little bit at a time, but you can see it, possibly, I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but you can see that it moves it just a little bit. All right, guys, well, that's the finished product. And you can see how it looks. It's still drying. We'll come back and check on it here. But you can see, like I said, be as creative as you want. <laughs> 